Hello everyone. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. And we just came to um, really bring up the issues of today with our teens and our kids, mm -hmm. and to support the families that are in this group and in the body of Christ. Period. Um, <laughs> there's a great need for prayer. Yes. As you guys have been seeing, there's so many chaotic things going on in our world. It's hard to keep track of, and so it's important for parents, as parents, to keep track of our kids. Mm -hmm. Because there's so many things that they're uh, they can get involved in so many influences on TV on uh, Social media on their phones, whatever it may be and if we're not keeping track of these things mm -hmm. Then you have no idea Amen. where your kids mind yes. is at um, So today we just want to just do a brief talk yes. with you guys about some of the topics that are going on with today's uh, kids and teens and then we want to end off with a prayer for you and your family so join us today um as we're getting started go ahead and share this video um if it you know if it inspires you or your family we're trying to get the Dang. laptop set up <laughs> <laughs> we're trying to get everything set up and um as i'm looking at the video uh we're kind of a little bit behind it's kind of like those old Chinese flicks where you see the person the talking, movies. the kar karate movies, and the voices are behind. That's how we see ourselves. So go ahead <laughs> and, <laughs> and share this uh, video to um, your page or, you know, uh, your profile so that we can uh, get into some discussions yes. and join us in the comments and the lives, uh, which we cannot see right now. So if you're <laughs> asking us something, and we don't respond to you. Uh, we put some information in the description for this video where you can contact us. And also, you know, we're in the kids' Bible study, so you can always uh, message us and message her however way you want to reach us. But I think we're going to get started. Yeah. And you know, one of the main things that I am hearing today, because we know how the school system is failing today's kids, um, unfortunately. Education is not really education anymore. Education has become politics. It's an indoctrination and our programming. Yes, our kids are being what engrossed in politics. Would you say that? Like, our, our, it's no longer like school. It's politics. I believe right? it's more of a satanic attempt to grab the minds of our kids. And yeah. The kids, you know, if they go to church on Sunday, because you know we have a lot of online church nowadays. Um, that's only one day a week. Yeah. So you can imagine that five days a week, maybe eight hours a day, these kids are, are being um, indoctrinated. basically indoctrinated and yeah. brainwashed with all kinds of ideas that go against what the Word of God says. And against what you may be even teaching your kids, because if you think about it, if you are going to in-person services uh, and your kids are going to Sunday school, they're bringing what they've learned in school into a, a class of other kids and everybody's on different levels and they're at school more than they are sunday school if you get what i'm saying yeah, we've seen in our uh, children's ministry yes. that we have that we run at um our church and yes um it's really important we've noticed a need yeah for these kids to be talked to youth uh i ran it uh -oh. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> no, uh i was in panda express the other day was that yesterday uh, yeah and there was some little kids preteens and Man, I tell you, uh, sometimes these kids are looking for adults like us, young people, to talk to them. One of the kids I was talking to them, because they were getting involved in some things, you know, just Play fighting messing around and, stuff and, and saying things that their parents, I'm yeah. pretty sure, would not agree with. Yeah. And um, I just gave them a nice little talk, and I asked them, I was like, you know about Jesus Christ? And he was like, yeah, I know about Jesus Christ. And he was like, you know what, man? Thank you for talking to us because I talked to them out of doing some uh, bad behavior and stuff like that. But, you know, many people just turn a blind eye to these kids and what they're looking for is an example. You know, they really don't know which way to go. But all that they see is, you know, these music videos and things that they see in rap, hip hop, uh, the whole entertainment culture. And what they're doing is leading these kids down a demonic path. Yeah. Literally, really this is. hip hop music. Uh, nowadays, a worldly hip hop music, anyway. They have Christian hip hop music as well, but in the worldly uh, music, they're doing sa Satan worship and um, all kinds of things. You have um, rappers that are encouraging kids to think differently than what 
you know their nature is as far as girls and boys yeah um and you have no idea <laughs> oh my when gosh. you let these kids watch these cartoons yes i've talked about it in some of my videos but we were uh we turned on our roku yesterday and they have a new cinderella coming out with um a man as a fairy godmother yes this is the the things that they're pushing on our kids all the things that we grew up with cinderella all of these uh what used to be sort of innocent cartoons and basic stuff our kids it's like they have no chance because um they're being influenced in a way that will lead them down alternative lifestyles mm -hmm. um the suicide rate is is ridiculous one third of the uh United States, uh, I believe it was the youth, yeah. one third of the youth in the United States have considered suicide. And why is that? Our young people are in trouble mm -hmm. because we're not talking to them. Many times we're so busy with our work schedule and uh, things that are going on in our personal lives and we think, well, we just feed the kids, we bring them home the money, we'll give them money, and then that'll be it. Time to go to bed, you know, mm -hmm. whatever it may be. But we really need to talk to our kids. What are our kids watching? Who are they talking to? Who are they texting and chatting? Who? What kind of pictures are they sending their friends? Mm -hmm. What kind of pictures are their friends sending them? Yeah. You know, what have they been influenced by? Because once you get involved with your kids, it leaves um, a lot of those things out of their life, you know? Mm -hmm. It's true. And I would say that... Um Parents, don't be afraid to check and see what your kids are watching yeah. on their cell phones. If you have allowed your child to have a cell phone, and I know in today's society is very dangerous, and many parents are getting their kids' phones, and you can't really control what they're able to look up. Even if you're doing the online K-12 through program school, okay? If your kids are doing online studying, it is still public school. It is still um, considered government indoctrination, and firsthand first-hand experience um, with my sister um, her son was doing that program I think a year or so ago and they give the kids what they call free time to browse the internet mm -hmm. and look at all kinds of stuff that they feel like they want to do and if you question the teachers about it they say well this is their free time they can do whatever they want so you may want to just keep an eye on your kids no matter what they're doing um, education wise you want to check who they're talking to um, unfortunately, we live in a time where it's important to be heavily involved in what your kids are doing. Um, it's not time to think about offense. No. It's not time to think about trust because, yeah, we trust our kids. If you have teenagers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. They want that trust. They want that independence. But at the same time, it is earned. And you, they have to get that trust from you. You need to know what they're doing. They need to be able to freely tell you what they're doing. It's so important. And so uh, today we're sensing in teens and even in kids as young as eight, you know, the sense of wanting to die, suicide, you know, um, just talking to some kids. They, they're depressed. Why are little children depressed? It's that time where you need to gather your kids into your arms and have discussions with them. This world is not kind to children today. They don't live in the same world that we've lived in. And as you know, a lot of the things that we've watched, that we grew up with, is not the same for our children. Yeah, and as kids and teens, um, one of the things that they struggle with is purpose and identity. Yes. And so they don't know really where to go, what, how they should be. I mean, you guys have been teens before, and you know that you didn't know who you were. You didn't know who you were. You knew who you wanted to be in a sense, but even that changed. So where are they finding their purpose and identity and everything that they see? Mm -hmm. They watch their friends and they see who's the leader and they see like, man, what do I, what does it take for me to fit in? Mm -hmm. And so they're, they're doing things that they don't really want to do, but they need to fit in and they feel like if they don't, then they won't have any friends. Yeah. And so they become a total different person just so that they can be, you know, in the in crowd. So what do we do in order to um, help them to understand that, that you can be an individual because you have your identity found in Jesus Christ how do we lead them in an identity um, in Christ mm -hmm. well that's the most important thing mm -hmm. and that's something that we need to start uh, practicing in our families yeah helping the kids and that's why we uh, do what we do mm -hmm. helping families learn how to do devotions yes. uh, with their families with their kids yes. get them involved
Get your kids involved. God. Yeah, when you pray with your kids, let them pray too. Um, if you need more family resources, you can check out our website and look at our family Bible study page. Also, I just want to encourage the parents out there who are thinking of homeschooling in any way, shape, or form. Um, I just want to let you parents know it is not a hard thing. It is as easy as waking up, your kids waking up, getting ready for school or not getting ready for school, and doing a more laid back at home curriculum. Yeah, the schools, they may appear to be rigorous. You may think your kids are learning a lot, but really they're not. It's more stressful for kids because they have a high stress level of trying to perform trying to uh, compete with peers and trying to be accepted. And most kids, when they go to school anyways, it's mostly about trying to be accepted. You yeah. know what I mean? It's not It's not a, a more relaxed thing. Kids want to go to school. Yeah, kids want to be around other kids. But even when you're homeschooling, your kids can be around other kids. It's just who are your kids around? Who is making an impression on your kid besides you? If you think about it, school is practically a home away from home. Your kids are at school probably more than they are at home for most parents, especially if your parents are involved in the sport. Um, we have talked about this before in one of our homeschool videos. Yeah. You can check that out on our website. But parents, just we just want to encourage you to be involved and to don't think that homeschooling, if you choose that, is going to be hard. Uh, on our website, we have a whole lot of resources that you can look at too that will guide you through the process, that will show you that um, homeschool is it's an easy process. Yeah, it's going to take work, but even your kids being in public school, it's going to take you way more work. If you okay. want to be involved in yes. your children's ed yes. education. Yes, anyway. it's going to take you way more work if you want to be involved in your kid's school. It's going gonna, it's gonna to give you a bigger fight because you're fighting administration. You're fighting all the things that are around your kids, their peers. So it's, it's easier. And don't think it's that easier. just because you uh, get your kids involved in a lot of activities yeah. that that's going to protect them from uh, Satan's strategy and agenda. It's not. It's not. And actually, if you see most of the advertisements today, especially the advertisement for shoes or clothes, it's always um, some child or person on there that don't know who they are. It's usually um, a homosexual agenda. You'll see... Uh, demonic influences trying to influence your child uh, just recently we seen an ad for converse it had people knowingly uh who satan worship. yeah satan worship and they they so much they went so far as to make themselves look demonic and then they had like a baby on the ground and we've seen um ads where there is two fathers or two mothers and it's getting personal guys they're showing men uh trying to nurse children okay they're showing um pregnant men i mean what's that thing we just saw in people magazine they did a spread oh uh with a little nausea oh my gosh a man that is pregnant and and these people if that's the case. yes yes because it's impossible okay it's hard to even think yes about, really. it is it, you don't even we hate talking about, about it. this as much as you guys hate listening yes to yes it, we me. do we do and it's but sad. that's where we're at but this is reality this is for today's children okay this is the reality that your kids are facing and that uh their other peers may be watching and your kids will end up watching or being involved with and the pornography like uh yes. you guys may have your kids who have cell phones and stuff like that you have no idea what these advertisements and things are uh advertising to your kids especially the boys and yes. the men that's what they um, they drive the advertisements to, uh, pornography advertisements. Yes. It starts off with little uh, things, you know, with clothes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And once they start clicking on that stuff, it leads to even more yes. uh, crazier, racier uh, images mm -hmm. and videos. So um, watch and, what they're watching. And then parents, uh, we also want to warn against allowing your kids to just... Um, dress any certain way. Yeah. I know most parents with teenagers don't want to be involved in what their kids are wearing a whole lot. But if you look at it, the clothes they're making today for babies, they're making crop tops and mini shorts. Mm -hmm. uh, you have children as young as five years old dressing like um, prostitutes and ladies of the night. I mean, we've seen families, mother, fathers, siblings walking into the store and their kids are wearing nothing but their underwear and bras why is that accepted into society today why would you allow your child to leave the house with you to go shopping knowingly and next to nothing yeah. and you think that just because you're there 
that it's going to stop the thoughts that other people think it makes the family system look very look very bad right yeah this is important for you guys yes. to understand is that the demonic forces are not looking for they know that they might not be able to get you directly yes. you may have a great prayer life you may have be in your word every day that's just one person yes they're going to try to get through the back door the front door they're going to put their foot in it and here's the thing all they need is a little breadcrumb to, yes. to come after your family they might not be able to get you directly but they'll get you indirectly through your kids mm -hmm. and you'll find your kids like uh turn into a whole different person yes you know and so it's just the little things you allow your kids to wear this and that and that influences their mind no matter what like the crop tops and all the things that the worldly kids are wearing mm -hmm. they want to wear Yes. And you let these little things uh, slip through. That's becomes, the little wins of the enemy. Yeah, it becomes little normalized, wins. right? It's yeah. normal for boys up. to wear those tight legging you know, tight like pants. Leggings and stuff. It's normal for even Christians. Playing with boys in unnatural ways. Yes, too. Which, what I saw in Panda Express, yeah. which is the reason why I talked to the kids, and they were confused. Yeah. They kind of snapped out of it. Exactly. Like, I don't know. It's becoming normalized for girls, even in church, to wear jeans that are cut up to the thigh. You know what I mean? Um, the, the the jeans are all ripped up. It's one thing to have a pair of distressed jeans, but it's another thing where hmm. your children is wearing cuts all up to the thigh area. What does that mean? What is that trying to show? Parents, please wake up and think about it. It's to get parents to understand about the things that kids are going through today. It's kind of like almost waking up the church to the fact that we're living in the end times yeah. and that these are times like no other, right? It's yeah. like waking up the church to, to pray, to intercede on behalf of this nation. It's waking up Christian parents, parents in general, to think about what your kids are doing. You can't allow your kids to look like the world because what difference are they making if you say, well, my kids are going to school and they're going to make a difference. How are they going to make a difference if they're living the way that the world is? If they dress and look the same way. The Bible calls us to be different. They're not equipped to fight. I just yes. did a video called The Struggle is Real. And in that video, it talks about how we, biblically, how we fight yes. as Christians. Yes. You cannot fight if you don't have the right uh, the right weapons. Yes, you cannot fight. And that's what the yes. Word of God, We we're not, if we're not living out the Word of God, guess what? You're not fighting right. Yeah. <laughs> because you can read it, but if you're not studying it, if you're not uh, using it, um, the way that it's supposed to be used against the enemy, you're letting all of these things slip through your home, mm -hmm. then you're not going to be ready for what he has coming at you. Amen. He's not going to stop uh, fighting against you, but we have to be ready. Uh, watching yes. what's around us, being aware of what's going on in our families, outside of our families, um, and just being guarded, you know? Yes, guarding. Guard your family. So without further ado, um, that was our little uh, chit chat. If you guys want to talk about more topics with us, please, please, do. please feel free to leave it in the comments or even email us. We do get a lot of emails, but it's okay. Um, we will get through the emails and we can come back on and do a whole nother something. It's, yeah. it, it's, it's fun. We love going live when we have the time, okay? Because yeah. we do have a lot, Kinda but to grab the time today. Yes, we grab that time today because this was something important to us. We yeah. love family. And so, yeah, feel free to leave us a comment or just email us at randallnestfamily at gmail.com. And um, we want to hear your topics. We want to hear the things you have to say because it helps us get a heads up on what our community uh, thinks about, what our community wants to know. So let's pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I'll let my husband start the prayer. Yes, Lord God. Father, you know yes. the need, Lord God, of yes. these kids and the teens, Lord God, the families, Jesus Lord name. God. Some of the families are broken, Lord God, and they've been broken and broken, Lord God. Yes, Lord. We pray, Lord God, that you would heal the divisions, Lord God, that have been caused in these families, Father, between the parents, Lord God. We pray that you heal the marriages, Lord God, that you heal the relationships between the parents and the children, yes, Father. Yes, Jesus. We pray, Heavenly Father, that you would start to heal the hearts, Lord God. Yes, Father All of God. the things that have affected the kids, Lord God, things yes. that they haven't even told their parents, Father, that has occurred in, the in their name lives. Of Jesus. Father, yes. the things that have occurred, Lord God, in the deepest, dark closets, Father, in the families, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that the effects of those things will be yes. hindered in the mighty name in of Jesus. We break, of Jesus we break the power of Satan right over these children. We break the power of Satan, Lord God, right over now. the minds of yes, these children, Lord, Lord yes. God. Every demonic spirit, yes. Lord Jesus God, every name. suicidal spirit, every spirit of right division, now. every spirit of depression, Lord God. 
We bind it up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty Christ. name of Jesus Father, Christ, Father, we bind Lord. up every uh, spirit, Lord God, of disobedience, Father. Yes, every spirit of disobedience. That has entered the homes, Father. Yes. Where the parents feel like they're they're helpless and powerless, Lord God, to raise their kids, Lord God, to um, to guide their kids, yes. to even talk to their kids. We pray, yes. Heavenly Father, that um, that be removed from their in families the in the mighty name, name of Jesus Christ. Christ. We pray, Lord God, for their, the the parents, Lord God, yes. to gain that power the, the yes. Word of God has given us, Lord God, yes. over their children, over their uh, families, Lord God. Yes. You told us in to Jesus raise our name. kids in the way that they should go so that when they're older later on, Father, that they will not depart from yes, these things. Yes, Father God. We pray against the spirit the of depression of Jesus. Yes, upon Lord the God, children and upon up. your family. Hallelujah. We pray against the spirit of anxiety, yes, Jesus. the anxiety that's flowing around in yes, the world, Father, that's covering our children, Jesus. even our children at home, even homeschool children. It doesn't matter. Um, anxiety and these disorders is 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 not something that covers one set of kids. It covers yes, the whole set. We pray against that spirit. Yes, the spirit Father. of depression, the spirit of suicide. Loose it, Father, yes, we loose it. Of off of these Christ. families right now in Jesus Hallelujah. name we loose it off of your children in Jesus name yes, of, uh, off your families off your churches yes, in the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus you right now the son says free is free yes. indeed father set them free Jesus yes. in, the in the mighty, mighty name, name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ Lord God, you have the power Lord God the same power that, sh that is working inside of us we pray heavenly father that right you will lose Jesus their name. minds Lord God from in all Jesus your name. influences that right now, in the mighty name children, of Jesus Lord God. Christ, right all now. of the things that their friends yes, have Lord. been uh, joining in together to do, Lord yes, God, Lord, all of the things name. that they have been indoctrinated with that their parents don't even know, Lord God. Yes. We pray, Heavenly Father, that that they will be removed, Father. Yes. We curse, Lord God, all yes. of the sources, Lord God, in the mighty of name the demonic of Jesus influences Christ. from their their yeah, minds yeah, and their yeah, thoughts, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lord God, all of the uh, pornography yeah, that they've been yeah, introduced yeah, 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 to, Father, all of those images, all of those videos, Father. We uh we bind those things up, Lord. Right God. now in the and mighty name of Jesus. from the Jesus. minds of the children. Right now. From the minds of the right teens, now. In even from Jesus the minds name. of the parents, Father. In those Jesus who have been doing things in secret, in the mighty Lord God. Name of Jesus. Those who have been watching things in secret, yes. Lord God. In involved Jesus in sexual name. immorality, Lord God. In the mighty name of All Jesus. All these things, Lord God, right they have now. tainted and, and right now. brought a curse into in the, the homes, mighty name Lord God. Of Jesus we pray Christ. right now against it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, in Jesus name, Father God. That, uh... Whatsoever we bind on earth should be bound, bound in heaven. heaven. Whatsoever we loose on earth should be loose in, in heaven. He said that no weapon formed against us yes. shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us, yes. it shall be condemned. In the mighty but he said, name Lord of God, Jesus Christ. Our righteousness is from you, hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus yes, Christ. Lord Jesus. And therefore we take we take uh, dominion, Lord God, yes. over the works and the strategies and the methods of the enemy, Lord right God. Right now, in the mighty you name shall of not Jesus win. Christ. You shall Amen. not gain a foothold. Yes. We cast down every and demolish every stronghold in the right mighty now. name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Right now, we close the door on every demon in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus name. Christ. Right now, parents, I want you guys to pray this over your family yes, right now. Receive it in the mighty Receive name of Jesus. Receive this prayer right now. Uh, re pray in repeat the mighty my, name of Jesus. my my uh, prayer. As yes, I pray Lord this God. over our family and your family, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to pray yeah. this over your family. And if you want to look for this prayer, you can look at it. Yes. Uh, you can find it, I'm sorry, on our website. But this is a prayer that I want to pray over you. It's a very powerful prayer. Repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, name as of it Jesus relates Christ. to me and my family, and my family, I bind all of Satan's evil, all of spirits, Satan's evil spirits, occult spirits, occult spirits, spirits of trauma, spirits of trauma, familiar spirits, familiar spirits demonic, forces, demonic forces, satanic powers, satanic powers principalities, principalities, any clusters of demons, clusters and, satanic of demons and satanic thrones. And satanic in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of right Jesus. now, I bind all evil kingdoms. I bind all evil kingdoms. And princes of I bind all demonic assignments bind all demonic and assignments functions of destruction of from destruction. any demonic from entity. Any demonic I bind all interplay, I bind all interaction, interaction, communication, communication, and all their games and all their between games satanic between and demonic spirits and demonic out of spirits. and away. Say from our minds, away, from, our from our bodies, bodies from bodies, our souls. Say away from our, our children, away from our home, away from our neighborhood. Because guys, we wrestle Jesus. not against flesh and blood, Hallelujah. but against evil principalities. The spiritual hosts of wickedness. Yes. Behind the person is a demonic spirit, a demonic entity, something that's very dark. So you don't look at your children and be like, you have... You know, you're just evil, wicked person. No, there is spiritual forces, very powerful spiritual forces behind everything that we have to deal with. So you want to say, 
in the mighty name, name of Jesus, Jesus I Christ. sever all demonic sever spirits all demonic from spirits. any demonic, from any demonic ruler, ruler above these above demonic, these demonic spirits. spirits. I revoke, I revoke any orders any given orders. to any of, the, of these demonic spirits the and demonic forces Jesus concerning Christ. me and my family. And I bind all demonic entities and all yes, generational curses. Under the, the one and highest, highest authority, authority Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ and the, the blood, blood of Jesus. Jesus. Your family is not Hallelujah. held back by any curse. If you have the curse of drugs, drinking, um, demonic worship, your family cannot be held down by that. In the mighty name of Hallelujah. Jesus, those things are bound up and loosed from you. In Jesus' name, confess Hallelujah. this over your family today. Yes. You say, I loose you, I loose evil, evil spirits, spirits from, from us, us now. right now. I lose you in the mighty name the mighty of Jesus. Name Say of your Jesus assignments Christ. and influences in and our, our lives, lives over my now. children, Hallelujah. over my family is broken right now, over my neighborhood, over yes. my community. It is broken in the mighty name of Jesus. And everything it is that broken my family right now in the mighty, name, the mighty name, of name of Jesus. Pray this prayer of your family. Pray this prayer of your family. And if you need a copy of this prayer, go to our website, mm -hmm. randomnestfamily.org. Type a prayer of self deliverance and you will find that i want you to print that out today and i want you to pray that prayer over your family i want you to pray that prayer over your community your yes. neighborhood and pray for this government and please be involved in your children's lives don't think that just because they are teenagers that they're lost they're only lost when you give up on your kids parents do not give up on your kids today do not give up on your teens even if they're being resistant don't give up the schools they do everything they can to draw your kids in so why don't you do everything that you can to keep your kids where they should be to help them walk with christ and that's all we have for you guys today and don't be deceived yes if you don't get involved satan will <laughs> yes and he'll take charge yes he will yes he will so i pray that this bless you guys today bye-bye yes. have bye, a blessed guys. day god bless you